So how plausible do you find that if any woman just at the age of 30 shattered the monopoly of Western countries in the chip business and significantly contributed to the growth of Chinese chips, and this time news is from China, a Chinese woman who has recently touched her 30 and set her name in such a vast market of chips and circuits. But how did she establish herself in such a huge market? And what strategies did she employ to become the dominant player there? Want to know all of her plans, schemes, and secrets? That's why we have TCH and Enology data to answer all your questions and fill us in on the most mind-blowing innovations now available. Please subscribe to our channel and press the like button. Huang Kankin is one of only three people in the world to have earned the World Class Science and Technology Award. This is really prestigious. Only one other Asian has ever won this honor. She did it. In addition, she has received more than 40 innovation patents in China and more than 10 invention patents from other countries. And she has published more than 70 papers in top academic publications from across the world. The list of her amazing achievements on her resume completely blew you away. She is a very competent scientist, so it came as a surprise to find that she had never studied outside of China before. In the field of computer chips, Huang is widely regarded as China's most promising young innovator. And you know what Huang Kantian is so stunning that she has earned the nickname Chip Goddess of China. Her contributions to the semiconductor sector led to her fame. Huang Kantian was born into a traditional family in the Chinese province of Chang Rao Jiangxi, 1989. The parents are working class, but that has never stopped them from emphasizing the value of a good education for their daughters. Because of her excellent performance on the entrance exam, she was approved to study microelectronics at Peking University back in 2006. While she was a student at Peking University, she had the idea to investigate chips more thoroughly. Her early disposition for hard work and self-improvement, along with her enthusiasm for education, helped her to swiftly become a leader among her peers at Peking University. Almost immediately after that, at the tender age of 22, she joined the study team led by academician Huang. There, she committed herself to research micro nano electrical devices that operate on extremely little amounts of power. And do you know? Huang Kantian appeared unfazed by the fact that more than 90% of Peking University students choose to study abroad and then remain there to work and immigrate every year. She insisted on sticking to her decision. The bright young woman was then invited to attend research camps at several foreign colleges and companies, but she stayed in China to earn her doctorate instead of following the path of the vast majority of her peers. Many were surprised by her decision as Peking University is usually regarded as a great stepping stone to studies in nations outside of China. She also had the honor of being the lead author of a journal article, and the specialty that only 15% of papers submitted to it are accepted for publication suggests that it will significantly impact new development. You've probably heard of the International Electron Devices Meeting, IEDM which is widely considered to be the premier academic event for the global semiconductor industry. Furthermore, it has been dubbed the Olympics of microelectronic gadgets. Furthermore, she is responsible for the increased minimum age for published authors. And do you know? Hulang Kanchen is also a mother, and she now has a two-year-old child. Despite being a mom and responsible for her children's well-being, she has continued her pursuit of scientific studies. She hasn't stopped researching and writing up new findings on the potential development of China's semiconductor industry. We expect Huang Kantian to achieve even greater success and make good contributions to China's efforts to break the Western monopoly on chip production. And she is still actively engaged in the research and development professionals that she loves. But the thing that is in news is that this pretty Chinese chip goddess helped Huawei out of trouble. See. The United States has spared no effort in its pursuit of sanctions against Chinese companies operating in the advanced technology sector, including Huawei, ZTE, and SMIC. It intends to completely eradicate China's semiconductor manufacturing sector. In an effort to get around the technology embargo enforced by the United States, the Chinese government has implemented a chip assistance scheme worth several trillion yuan. 
In addition to financial difficulties, the semiconductor industry in China is also having trouble because of problems with its talent pool. Huawei once released a clever approach that resulted in a high income of $2 million since Huawei discovered a range once remarked that China's most pressing need is not machinery, but rather skilled workers if the country is to achieve success. Huawei's most valuable asset is its 1,400 scientists and the hundreds of thousands of other employees. Huang Kankin's studies center on state-of-the-art microelectronics and the logic circuits that regulate them. Microelectronics solid-state electronics, or CHIPS, as they are more commonly known, are moving in this direction. Fei wanted a genius wrench just like her when Huawei's condition was really terrible and Huang Kankian volunteered to join Huawei's high silicon company to develop chips. She's perfect in precisely what Fei hoped for. So in what ways has she contributed to Huawei during her tenure there? The chip is the electronic device's brain, despite its tiny size and invisibility. The size of the semiconductor device also needs to be reduced. Huang Kankian and SMIC work together to provide the only current integrated method for recording chip devices, because this technology can precisely regulate the position and size of each component on the chip, researchers can locate the components suitably and effectively after knowing the number of components, thus reducing the amount of work that must be done. When compared to similar products on the global market, this integrated technology performs at its absolute best. In June of 2021, Huawei's chip research group made a major breakthrough using Huang Xianxian's patent. Huawei used twin chip stacking technology to directly integrate two 14 nanometer semiconductors into a single chip with a diameter of roughly 7 nanometers. This method does not require the use of a lithography machine. Additionally, she has been successful in creating a new mechanism that can be used in low power gadgets. This innovation not only surpasses similar devices in the U.S. and abroad, but it also sets a new world record for swing and silicon-based tunneling devices. And as we know, semiconductors are the central processing units, CPUs, in every modern electronic device, from microwave ovens to cell phones to unmanned aerial vehicles to automobiles. They are foundational to the advancement of technology critical to the health of the economy national security, and international competitiveness. Therefore, nations are vying for supremacy in the semiconductor industry to strengthen their economies. However, the stability and expansion of China's semiconductor industry are in jeopardy due to the United States' recent implementation of a chip export restriction on China and the rising tension with Taiwan. Now we think you know everything about the Chinese chip goddess from this video. What do you think? Could she make any major difference or could she save her country? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to our channel. We will be the one to provide you with interesting and thought-provoking content every day. Thank you so much for always believing in us.